Hey guys, well, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today I'm going to be doing some Dollar General DIYs. I'm also going to be decorating with some of the items that I recently purchased from there. They are great quality, super high end, and it goes with that nice little black and white and wood theme I have going. So let's get into the video. First DIY, I'll be using these three wooden animals. These are only $1. And if you guys didn't see my haul video, I'll link in the description box below so you guys can see pretty much the prices of all of these and kind of what they look like before and after. Uh, but I'm using some Chalk Tour Soak Screen stencils. One says Cluck Oink and this one says like milk of some sort of farm cow type. Anyways, I will link Chalk Tour in the description box too for you guys if you guys want to check out these silk screen transfers. I love the farmhouse ones. I love all farmhouse anyways, but I think this just makes them look a little bit more nice, not as plain. Uh, obviously, they're still pretty plain. I'm not going to do anything else to these. I just thought this was a perfect touch to them. And I decided to go ahead and add these to my tier trays. So this is kind of what my tray looks like now. It was after spring and I threw just all of my older decor in here. And I love all the blacks and greeneries and whites that you have to choose from in here. I have a ton of totes with different types of uh, tier tray decor, but I thought this one looked perfect in the top of this and I have three tier trays right now So I'm gonna be adding each of these farm animals to a different tray two tier trays in my kitchen. So I decided to go ahead and add that pig. And then I thought maybe I would add that rooster too, or the chicken. And I, you know, I didn't want to cover it up. I really kind of wanted these to be a solid focal point, although they would have looked super cute all together. Uh, it just kind of didn't work out that way. So I love messing around and decorating my tier trays. I kind of play around with these all the time. So this probably will change eventually. But for now, I think this one looks so cute. I love this tier tray. This one came off of the Chalk Couture website. And I've had this tear tray for a while. This is from Target. And I, like I said, I just love all of like the woods and the black and whites. It's kind of my theme, but I think it just makes everything kind of look nice. It's kind of modern. I think it's high end and I'm always good for any type of black home decor piece. Speaking of new pieces and black pieces and high-end decor, I do have a new piece that I added to my home and it is this Aura frame. It is a Wi-Fi digital picture frame and it's so easy to set up. You plug it in and connect it to your Wi-Fi, download the free Aura app and upload unlimited photos or videos anywhere in the world. It's an amazing gift idea with Mother's Day right around the corner or a great piece for yourself if you're like me and you take thousands of photos but you never get them printed. Uh, it also makes your home super clutter free. So what I really like about this, it's easy to add photos and delete them off of your phone. It has tons of different settings. So you're able to have your photos up there for 15 seconds all the way up to 10 minutes. And the app is very self-explanatory. So even if you are not tech savvy, you will be able to figure this out out easily. Also, every Aura frame has a unique calibrated display, so it ensures that the colors on every photo look true to the original. And if you looked at this frame, you couldn't even tell that it is a digital picture frame unless you watch that picture slide to the next. Also, you can invite family and friends to the app so you all can download pictures from your phones to the exact same frame, which is really cool. So if you guys have people that are out of state and you want to gift this, this would be a great gift. I also love this interactive touch bar so it keeps fingerprints off the display. And right now Aura has a great deal for Mother's Day. If you visit the link in the description box, you'll get $30 off their Carver Mat frames plus free shipping with code Kristen30. The deal ends on Mother's Day, May 14th, so make sure you check it out now. Next, a quick little upgrade to this. This vase is cute as is, but I thought they would look even better with these rub-on transfers. This is on the farm transfer, Bells and Whistles by Dixie Bell. And I'm just using one of these smaller chickens. So there was three of these and I thought about maybe wrapping it around, but I decided just to cut it, use this chicken, and then I am just going to 
add whatever. You can add some greenery. You can add florals to it. I actually kept mine plain for now. Um, but this next one, I'm using another rub-on transfer. This frame costs $6. And I just really like this. I thought it was so pretty. And if you just wanted to add a picture, you could. I am just not the one to print out pictures. So I thought a little rub on transfer would work just as good and it kind of gives this piece just a little upgrade and even if you did eventually want to add a picture down the road you could and just cover up that transfer so this picture cost eight dollars this is also from dollar general actually everything is from dollar general i'm using a silk screen transfer this one is actually from amazon and i'll link these for you guys i love this one it is one of my favorites i have used this multiple times and it is still holding up pretty well this is the chalk paste that I use. I've had people ask. I always use the Chalk Couture chalk paste. It is a little pricey, but it lasts forever and you barely need any for projects. So you can make a lot of projects uh, even though you're paying a little bit more. So I decided to decorate my coffee table. And of course, just that hand dusting of a wipe. You can vacuum up the crumbs later. <laughs> no biggie, but I wanted to decorate the coffee table. So I picked up that tray that wicker tray from dollar general it was ten dollars and then i'm just adding my picture i did throw in some greenery and then this little boxwood plant that was four or five dollars from dollar general and i'm just adding everything from dollar general in here and this is a fun little upgrade and it didn't cost a lot it didn't take a lot to, to make these little pieces over because they were actually really cute as is and then of course that little garland tag that was only a dollar from dollar general but this is what it looks like when it is put together this is kind of the style i've been going for for years i just really kind of like the pops of black and i love that it kind of matches my coffee table with the light wood at the top and then the black legs at the bottom but i'm obsessed with this centerpiece i am so glad i made this over because it was it was looking um a little plain and a little dull and a little messy on this but i'm obsessed i love this one my dining room and table this also needed a little makeover as well so I got that tray from Hobby Lobby it was after the fall time but it doesn't matter you can still use it all year round this truck is from Dollar General it was ten dollars although I think that is a little on the pricier end for something like that but I don't change out my decor a lot and I don't buy a ton. So I think this will be perfect. And then I just use some pieces that I already had. I made this chalk couture sign and the sign is also from chalk couture. And then I just added a picture that I added a rub on transfer from. And that is also from the down on the farm Dixie Bell rub on transfer set. Uh, and then I just added some lamb's ear and that cute little plant in the back of the truck is also from Dollar General and it was $3, but I think this looks so cute. I don't like adding a ton to my dining room table because we do actually use this as a table. We eat on it, we play games on it, we do puzzles on it. So to have a ton on this table and to take it off would just be a mess. So this sign was $6 from Dollar General, of course. It says, hello, I loved this one. And then I just reuse this wreath all the time. I've probably reused it 10 to 20 times. I picked up some florals from Michael's and they were half off. So these were only 99 cents. And then I just stuck them right in the wreath and added that sign. And I think this is the prettiest summer wreath I've ever seen. At least this canister was five dollars and i just threw some florals in here and just stuck it right on my hutch i think this is pretty i did nothing to it and i didn't plan on doing a lot to these items because i thought they were beautiful as is 
Guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I would love to consider sticking around and subscribing. Also, don't forget to check out the Aura Carver Mat frame. Visit the link in the description box below to get $30 off plus free shipping with my code Kristen30. But that is it. I will see you in the next one. Bye.